Okay, the matosphere is a um, bubble of uh, a mighty bubble that protects and shields uh, us from um, solar um, particles and radiation, and um, so it's a protective environment. But sometimes particles go through, and we have the examples at the aurora. But also, they can go through. Um, the mitopause itself, which is uh, that surface um, of the bubbly surface. And I personally study um, some waves on that surface called Kelvin Helmholtz waves, and um, they may explain the um, entry of the solar wind plasma into the mitosphere. So it's very interesting to understand how these waves can explain um, such phenomenon. You can think about these waves are uh, surface waves uh, on the sea. And um, these waves, when they arrive at the beach, they, they kind of break and um, they, they, you start to see them rolling up. So uh, this is what happened at the Mayotopos. These waves uh, can roll up as um, vortices and the difference between the sea and the mitopause is that um, the sea doesn't have magnetic fields and mitopause uh, separates two regions of uh, different magnetic fields and it's very difficult for plasma to uh, go through this magnetic field. So we have to think about different processes that, that can explain the entry of um, solar wind plasma into the mitosphere through these waves and there are two um, possible mechanisms. One is uh, diffusion on, on closed feed lines and uh, another one is magnetic connection.